Welcome back trainers and we're going to be taking a look at some open Ultra League battles. Every single one you're going to see is that. So not everybody is going to be using legendaries here. I just decided I'm going to go in here and uh, see what I can do. We're going to be using the Heisenberg team just for this battle and then we're going to be taking a look at other Pokemon here. I just decided to test it out here. So XL Pokemon, I wanted to talk about the fact that is it fair? Uh, having this uneven playing ground for people who are not quite yet level 40. So therefore you can't even get XL candies period or make XL Pokemon uh, just to level 40, putting them at a disadvantage. Now, some I, you know, I've been around reading before I you know did this and just throughout the months uh, listening to people and seeing what they have to say. And you know some people's argument for those people who are saying that we need a individual league for people who are not quite 40. Who don't have XL Pokemon, they say that you've had all this opportunity to get there and, you know, plenty of events where you can get XP. And to that response, I have to say, you know, to some degree it is true, but at the same time, you can't just tell people, you know, you you should have been at level 40 already. So, you know, people have lives, man. Just because we have event over event over event with extra XP to get to level 40 doesn't mean everybody can get there. But then you have the argument, well, if you're not as hardcore as you can be, then, you know, why are you complaining for the GBL? You know, it's, I don't know what to say. You, you can't please everybody. You know what would relieve everything is basically just having another league where you just XL Pokemon are simply not allowed. You know, simple as that. And it's going to create more categories. You know, you're going to have the Ultra Premier and then the uh, regular Ultra League where legendaries are allowed. And then you're going to have the non-XL leagues as well like that we just went over. So, you know, that's pretty much it. I, I don't really have too much more to say on that, honestly. It's, you know, I can keep going on and on, I, I suppose, but um, I'll just sound like a broken record. Uh, but all I have to say is when we do get those XP events, I would just get on that, right? Turn on a lucky egg and hit those legendary raids or whatever the event is going to be detailing and you're going to be getting extra XP for. Then maybe you want to hop on that so you can get on the ball for the XL candies. But yeah, I could totally tell that there is a, a bit of a drought when it comes to people in the Ultra League or Ultra Premier. Because not as many people are playing this and it's not the fact that I'm rising up in rank. You know, that does happen, right? You rise up in rank, it takes longer to find a battle. I've been making sure to maintain a specific... Uh, MMR in the Go Battle League, so it doesn't take me too long to find battles, and I can keep everything flowing here, uh, because, you know, break up too fast, you're going to be sitting in there all day, and <laughs> no thank you, that is not fun. But anyways, all these are going to be XLs from here on out, other than the Machamp Shadow, that one is not. The Gramble is, the Talonflame certainly is level 50, Dragology is slightly XL, and then the Berserker also slightly XL as well. It does make a big difference uh, honestly, for the Berserker, you want lower attack for sure. And, you know, lower attack, higher defensive stamina, the whole nine yards for that one. So you can just maximize it. I don't care. <laughs> I have so many candies, I just said, the heck with it. We're just going to make this one and have fun with it. But I could totally tell. And uh, with that said, I think we can go ahead and get into the commentary here. All right, so just because you go into the Ultra League Open with Legendaries doesn't mean you need a Legendary yourself, but make sure you do come equipped and ready for them. Berserker is going to be having Iron Head. Honestly, you want Foul Play. And I have a bit of an overkill on this team for Fairies. On the Dragology, we also have Gunk Shot, which is going to be coming in handy. You're going to see it actually working, taking on a Togekiss. It's charming away, but it's really not taking us out fast enough and we're able to get to the gunk shot. It's a really nice and satisfying moment. Um, but with the Berserker and with the Talonflame, I think we could have went with the definitely uh, Outrage on it. But anyways, with that said, let's go ahead and fully get into it. So up against the Umbreon here, I'm getting to another Flame Charge. The reason why I'm not hitting the Brave Bird is because I just want to vamp up this thing. Just to keep vamping up the attack. I do believe I survived this. It's incredible. So, and we get the flame charge off. Beautiful. So if you're using Talonflame, it does get a bit tricky if you do overtap. You can really mess yourself over in an opportunity to get off a charge move. So if you know you're going to be able to get to it, make sure you're tapping on it, like directly on the charge move itself. Otherwise, you're going to overtap and well, it's over for you. Anyways, they're going to be hitting the flame charge. We have the Dragalge in here, dragon tailing away, and they're swapping into a Shiftry here. We have the Gunk Shot. This is where it's going to be coming in handy. Outrage would be fine as well. Shiftry is not the tankiest thing around. So we're getting to the Gunk Shot. Let's see if they actually want to shield this up. 
and they are letting it go through. Still holding on to one shield. In comes the Talon Flame. We are shieldless at this point. It's getting a little close. Taking us down, vamping us up. In comes the Berserker. We're getting to two close combats. The question is, are we actually going to be able to land both of them? One shield, and unfortunately, no. We're not able to land the other one, and they do take us out. Good game. All right, let's move on to the next one here. When will we run into a legendary? Well, well there you go. Beautiful. So they're going to be instantly swapping into their S Cavalier, in which we're going to go ahead and bring in our Talonflame XL uh, uh, maxed. Woo! Yeah, definitely uh, a good matchup for us, right? Getting off that drill run. Okay, sounds good to me. We're going to farm it all the way down. Expecting the Giratina to come back in here. We're going to build up to almost two Brave Birds, 100 energy here. Get this off and then go for another one. There's that shield. And we're, oh, we get, we get to another one. But do we want to shield this up? I guess so. Going for a Dragon Claw and getting off another one. Just putting on the pressure for that thing. Berserker's going to be able to come in here and farm down. Well, <laughs> it's not quite farm down range, right? So we're going to go ahead and just go in here with it. And they're bringing in their Registeel. So this is a good opportunity for me to go ahead and throw my close combat. Dragology doesn't have the best matchup against this thing. So what we're going to do is just go ahead and build up to two. Put on the pressure. We want to get that shield from them and then swap into Dragology. All right, we got the shield and now we can go ahead and do this. The Focus Blast is not very effective. The Flash Cannon is going to do some neutral damage. And we're just going to go ahead and get off an Aqua Tail here. This is all you could do even if you have Outrage. I mean, uh, yeah, it's just neutral damage. Not very effective with the Dragon Tail. So they're going to use their energy here. We survive. They swap into Garatina to take us out. We have one shield left. We can absolutely let this go through and farm down and then go in with the close combat and take out that Reggie still here. They're really having the energy built up. So I think we're going to go ahead and shield this up just for safe measures and get this close combat off as soon as possible before they do hit their charge move. And we're going to be taking the win with that Berserker. Let's go. Things amazing. Berserker is so fun. I don't know why I waited so long to uh, make an exit. Well, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe the candies weren't around. So we are met with a Shadow Swampert with our Berserker. And having Iron Head is not going to do us any favors for this matchup here. So more than likely, we're going to be wanting to go for close combat. Now, the reason why I'm not building up to two is because I'm not too worried about the quick move damage. We're going to be getting a shield there and then swapping to catch with Jagalji. I like that. Let's go. Not very effective. Hydro Cannon. And now they're going to swap into a Shiny Registeel. All right, sounds good to me. We've seen this already here. Not really doing too much damage. I do believe they get extremely ambitious here after they throw this charge wave and they try to farm us all the way down. Well, I don't think... Try. They do. So we're left with a sliver of health here. And that's a lot of farm for a lock-on. Okay, they're going to come out of this with a bunch of energy. So we need to be careful here. And they don't need to worry about another Aqua Tail. This is not going to KO. They can lock-on farm us all the way down. Which is not the best thing, but the okay situation in this is that we have Talonflame, which is resisting everything. So we're going to go ahead and throw that in here and obviously not use a shield. Let them go to town with their charge moves here. They're going to be swapping into that Swampert, and I want to get a shield here. I don't go for the Brave Bird. Let's see if we can get a shield. Yes, that's great. I'm going to swap into Berserker and go for the close combat and take out this Swampert. In comes the, well, what are they going to bring in? Let's see. Is it going to be the Registeel? Yes, it is. And that thing is loaded up on energy, <laughs> like, big time. So, uh, I think we're going to go ahead and shield this up. They're going for a Focus Blast, and we go for Iron Head. It's not necessary to get off a close combat here. We don't need to ruin our whole stats right now. And they have a Snorlax back there. Please tell me we can get to this close combat. Oh, this is just perfect. This is going to do a lot of damage, and then we want to swap into our Talonflame here. Or, even better, they're getting off their energy right as we get off their charge move so we don't have to worry about the talent flame get it taken out here and we are going to be building up to brave bird i could have maybe went for a flame charge here but eh, whatever brave bird's going to do it finishing move let's get it always looking good with the talent flame and we will be bringing in that xl gramble shadow with charm in a little bit here that thing is just should be illegal to be honest with you okay so we're met with a galvantula Got to be careful. Iron Head's not very effective. I know I was vigorously tapping on it, but, you know, it's a Galvantula. The thing is squishy anyway, so they did go for a lunge to lower our defense or lower our attack. And we're going to get off that Iron Head. Not very effective, unfortunately. I go for the close combat, which is also not very effective, but I was able to get to that first. So, uh, but we're <laughs> they're not able to KO with the lunge. So getting to this, debuffed attack twice, but yeah, they're still going to take the win here. Should be able to go in here and take him out before they get off a charge move. Great. 
Got a, rid of that electric type, and they're bringing in an Umbreon. Okay, sounds good to me. We're going to go ahead and throw that Flame Charge here and start vamping up. XL Umbreon is no joke, and I haven't even used it this season yet for the Ultra League. I made it, and I probably should start using it, right? Uh, anyways, there's just been so many things to use. It's just, you, you can't always uh, use everything. So they're getting off another charge move. We're going to go ahead and go for another flame charge because I just don't want to lower my defense. We see what happened before surviving with just a little bit of health left. I mean, why not vamp up our attack for the next Pokemon if we can survive and get in a few quick moves and just devastate them? If they're coming in with Umbreon, maybe there's something back there that doesn't really want to see this. So we're going to go ahead and shield this up, seeing that we are so vamped up. Wa wait a minute. Wow. <laughs> All that build up for nothing, huh? We, we build up our energy, our attack, and then we swap out. Right. So we're bringing in the Dragalge. I mean, this is great anyways. A Brave Bird isn't going to KO us, and we're really putting on the pressure with the Dragon Tail and Aqua Tails. Okay, sounds good to me. Now, I think a Brave Bird will KO. May need to get off one more quick move. I don't know. That's enough, but we're going to be bringing in our own Talonflame, getting to the Flame Charge, and this will KO. Just enough to take him out, and we're taking the win here. Yet again, another win in the Ultra Open. Let's go. All right, on to our next opponent. What are they going to be starting off with? It is going to be a Lapras, and this is, in fact, good. All right, this is, in fact, actually really good. Iron Head is neutral. Close Combat is super effective. So the thing is, if you're using Berserker, first off, you probably want Foul Play, and you maybe want to be going for a double buildup of the Close Combat here in this situation. We're going for the Iron Head. I don't know exactly what the play was on that. I was contemplating letting it go through, but at this point, they swap. So we're going to go ahead and bring in our Gramble. There you go. Here it is. <laughs> I'm not going to say it's the star of the show, but man, uh, it costs a lot, and it is quite awesome. If you're looking at the IVs in the beginning thinking, what? Why would you power this up? It's still good. It's still doing its stuff. So whatever. All right, so we're taking them out with Charm. We are shieldless at this point. They're bringing in a Lapras. We're going to go ahead and go close combat. Maybe could have went for Crunch, expecting the shield here. So now they're going to be able to farm us down even easier. But luckily for me, they threw their energy right before they took us out. So, hey, sounds good to me. We still have the Dragalge, which doesn't really want to see the ice. So we're going to go ahead and just bring in the Berserker here. Building up to almost two close combats. Taking out that Lapras. And what do they have in the back of Cresselia? Going to go ahead and go for the Iron Head. This is going to get kind of interesting here. Because uh, the, the Dragalge is going to take super effective from Psychic type. So if they have Future Sight, then uh-oh. But I do believe I caught this Moonblast here. Great. Not very effective and no debuff. Getting to the Aqua Tail. Wanted to get to the Gunk Shot, but wasn't quite brave enough. Didn't think I would make it. I was thinking that they had a Future Sight. And check it out. They do have Future Sight. So down we go. In comes the Berserker. We're able to get to another Iron Head here. And we're going to be able to take the win. This thing is just amazing. Let's go. Like I said, foul play is probably what you're going to want to go with as well as close combat on that. And of course, Shadow Claw. On to our next opponent. Oh, this is... All right, so Iron Head time. This is the sole reason why I have it, right? So up against the Togekiss here. This is great. Uh, I get a lot of double shielders with the Togekiss and the Berserker here. So we're going to go for another Iron Head. I will be able to outpace him, and I don't have to use two shields. No, it's that doesn't have to happen. So we've still got both of our shields, but the charm is really digging in. If we get another Iron Head through, obviously it's, it's over for them. Almost full health, and you can take them out there. They're swapping into an Empoleon to try to catch an Iron Head, but we didn't throw. Going for the close combat. Let's get it. Oh, right. That's just beautiful. Bring it to the Dragalge to almost try to farm down without them getting off a charge move. Hydro Cannon's not really... You know, it's doing some damage. Empoleon is a solid Pokemon for the Ultra League for sure. Even the Ultra Premier. Getting off an Aqua Tail. And Dragalge over here just tanking the charge moves. Tanking the charms and pulling off the win up against a Togekiss here. This is the power of Dragalge here. XL, gotta love that Poison Dragon typing. So they're coming in with the Swamper to smack us out of here. We're gonna go ahead and bring in that Gramble Charm. Disgusting, here we go. Uh, trying to catch, uh, but, you know, we didn't really do that, but it doesn't really matter. We're getting to the close combat. Are you thinking, why didn't they throw? Well, they needed two to win. They knew that, so they were charging up to two. They didn't quite get there. All right, into the next battle. We're met with a Melmetal here. This is Double-Edged Sword. All right, it could be good. It can be bad. It does have superpower. We can let the first one go, but we're shielding it. It's a bait of a rock slide. We're building up to almost two close combats. Going to go ahead and throw that first one. We're getting a shield. And I'm expecting a superpower now. I do believe I shield again. And yeah. 
So we're going to go ahead and throw another superpower, or <laughs> superpower, a close combat ourselves. And they're shielding and double shields. So we're going to go ahead and swap and they bring in a Togekiss. Here you go. You ready? This is the power of Dragalge and Gunk Shot. You're going to be able to one-shot charm users. So we're building up to that Gunk Shot on it and taking out the Togekiss. Good night. Sleep tight. Well, there we go. All right. So in comes the Melmetal here. This thing is a, an imminent threat. I, I mean, yeah, I don't know what we're going to do here. Well, we got the Talonflame, but Rock Slide, GG's, right? So we're going to go ahead and bring in the Berserker, hoping we can survive a superpower here. And let's see. And we barely survive it, and we're able to get to it. Taking them out here. What are they going to have in the back? And it is a Swampert. Oh, boy, Ren. Now, we probably lost this, so... We're just going to go straight Brave Bird and do what we can do here. Uh, there's nothing else. I mean, what else we can do? It's a good game. I wanted to showcase that uh, Dragalge taking out the Togekiss nonetheless. It was fun. And unfortunately, we're not going to be able to win this year. But hey, you can't win them all in good game. All right, up against our next opponent, Dan. What's Dan have? Oh, he's got an Obstagoon. So this is actually uh, another one of those double-edged kind of deals here. I mean, Cross Chop's going to hurt. It's really going to dig in. And that's exactly what they go for. But if we get this close combat through, which they know we have, that's going to one-shot it. All right, we're getting a shield. So we're going to go ahead and swap it this time into our Dragalge, taking resisted damage from the counter and cross shop. They're going to be going for a Night Slash, of course, and probably swapping. And there it is, into a Cresselia. So we're going to go ahead and go for the Gunk Shot here. See if we can get this through. Cresselia is a tank, so it is doing some nice damage. But if they do get a Future Sight, obviously that's going to take us out on one shot. I don't really run into too many people with Future Sight, but of course when I'm using Dragalge, everybody has it, you know? But otherwise, it's always going to be Moonblast and Grass Knot, but you know, when we have it. So bringing in the Berserker here, gonna go ahead and use our shield. I know it's not gonna be very effective, but I wanted to farm down a little ambitious, but we we're able to pull it off. Having two close combats, bringing in the Obstagoon, go ahead and shield this up. I'm gonna go for another one. All right, sounds good to me. Or we're gonna swap and hold on to it. Okay, that sounds like an idea, okay. Bringing in that Gengar here. So we're going to go ahead and shield, seeing that the charm is just... Oh, you're poison? I don't care. Who cares, all right? <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and go for Crunch. Take him out. All right, the charge move that they have are not going to be effective, so I do believe we'll survive this and be able to charm down here. Ridiculous damage. Ridiculous XL damage with that Shadow Gramble. Let's get it. Like I said, it should be illegal, right? <laughs> so into the next battle, we're met with a Machamp, and this is not good. So we're going to go ahead and swap into our Dragalge here. As you can tell, I love the Dragalge. It is really fun to use and it is very solid. So they're going to be going for a Rock Slide and swapping into that shiny Registeel. Now we're just going to Aqua Tail this thing as many times as we can before we do go down and not shield a thing. There is no point to keep this alive. So we're just going to let them do their thing here. Let's see how much they want to farm. We're going to be able to go in here with the Talonflame and I think we could farm it down. Yeah, absolutely. So going for the flash. Can oh, wait, what am I talking of Talonflame? Yeah, okay. We've got the Gramble on our team. Wake up, Poke. So uh, this is still, you know, it's not the best. They are baiting me with a flash cannon. Nice, I suppose. They still have two shields building up to two of these close combats here. So let's see what they want to do. Letting it go through and bringing in that Machamp. We're going to go ahead and get this off and swap into our Gramble, not Talonflame. And they have a Gengar. Another Gengar. Okay, so let's go ahead and do the charm thing here. And I think we shield this up. Because if we're able to actually charm them down, eh, we'll be looking good. Or at least if we get the shield, we'll be looking good. Okay, we got the shield. That's fine. So now what's, what's going to happen is we're going to go down here. And then we're going to bring in the Berserker to uh, farm them down. And then we should have enough energy. Oh, we're not there yet. Okay, in comes Mitch. Okay, we got there. Beautiful. So this was... Gonna KO the Machamp, Berserker, starting it and finishing it. Let's go with those uh, those little knives on his uh, hands are pretty funny. Wolverine over here. So into the next battle, we are met with a Escavalier. This is <laughs> not good. And I realized, holy cow, my whole team is weak to this technically. So not great. Um, as far as the steel typing, I should say. Because Dragalge really has no play against it. Aqua Tails, I suppose. Um, but, you know, we're going to have to swap into it. We do take resisted damage from the counter. Drill Run is going to hurt. I do believe we let the first one go through. Because at this point, it's low enough. The rest of the Pokemon don't need to worry about it. I think we can just, you know, quick move them down. So, uh, Gramble's count or a counter. <laughs> charm. Shadow Charm is still doing a ton to it, even though it is Steel-type. So, we're getting both shields out of them. Wow. 
that sounds good to me. They're going to be instantly swapping into their Alolan Muk. This is just great. So we will be shielding this up, building up to two close combats, and getting them both off, taking down this Muk, then swapping into the Gramble so we can refresh the debuffs on the Berserker here. And also getting rid of this thing. Now, the reason why I didn't swap into the Gramble to just finish him off with Charm uh, at the first uh, close combat is because they could have built up to a Gunk Shot and taken us out or a Sludge Wave easily. So in comes the Escavalier getting off that Drilled Run, doing a lot of damage. Yeesh. Bringing in a Swampert here. We have no shields. This is not looking good. So they're going to take us out. How is this going to end, folks? Down goes the Gramble. In comes the Berserker. And... Well, we're going to lose. That's how it's going to end. Yeah, 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 you can't win them all. Good game. We're not seeing as many legendaries as I thought I would be seeing. There's a lot of teams without even a legendary. You don't even need them in the Ultra Open here, right? So we're met with a Empoleon. This is fine. Hydro Cannon's going to hurt. Waterfalls are adding up, but we have close combat. We're going to be able to get to two. Now, if they want to double shield that, by all means, be my guess. But we have to be careful for them to try to catch the second one here. And that's exactly what they did. They bring in a Giratina to catch it. And to that, my hat's off to you. Very nice throw. And we're going to go ahead and bring in our Gramble, though. So we can, you know, <laughs> just um, erase it from history. Going for an Ancient Power, not using the shield. And we're able to charm it down. Looking good, looking good. And yeah, bringing in that Apollyon, of course. So we're going to go ahead and go for the close combat here. Expecting to get the last shield. All right, sounds good to me. They're going to be able to farm us down at this point. We, whoa, we have Machamp now. Oh boy, oh boy. Time to have a little fun. We're going to go ahead and farm and shield this up. Machamp with energy and no shields on your opponent's end. It's going to be a uh, hard time for them, that's for sure. They're swapping into a Shadow Gardevoir. So this took me by surprise. I was like, crap, what do I do? Swap into the uh, Berserker here. Go for Iron Head. Take him out. Are you kidding me? Let's get it. In comes Machamp. We got our charge move ready and it is a game over. Thank you for watching, trainers. If you did enjoy my video, please give it a thumbs up and... I'll catch you all next time. Take care, trainers.